September 30th. On this day we keep the memory of the Holy Haramat Gregory the Enlightener, Catholicos of Greater Armenia. Saint Gregory was born around the year 240. He was the son of Anak, the Persian, a relative of King Koshrov of Armenia, whom Anak assassinated on the orders of the Persian king Ardashir. For this crime, Anak's entire family was put to death, with the exception of Gregory and one of his brothers, who were exiled to Caesarea in Cappadocia as children. There, in Roman territory, Gregory learned of the holy doctrines of the Christians and was baptized. Tiriades, one of the sons of Koshrov, also arrived in Caesarea, exiled by the Persian king, and Gregory entered his service, but without letting him know that Anak was his father. Later on, Tiridates was restored to the Armenian throne by the Romans, in return for a great service he did the empire. Far from seeing in this the benevolent hand of the only God who does good to all that he has made, Tiridates immediately showed a wild zeal for idol worship, and was enraged when Gregory, who had served him in the hard years of their common exile, refused to deny Christ. Despising any thought of obligation toward him, he put Gregory to such a variety of cruel tortures as only the devil could suggest. The holy martyr was hung on a frame and scourged for entire days. His legs were clamped in vices and his bones were crushed. He was made to run with nails driven into the soles of his feet and a bag of burning coals was put over his head and he suffered so many other torments that even to name them all would be wearisome. But Gregory stood steadfast, having taken to himself the whole armour of the invincible faith of Christ and did not cease to give thanks to God for having made him worthy to suffer for his holy name. When Tiridates discovered that Gregory was the son of his father's assassin, his fury redoubled, and for fifteen years, fifteen years, he kept the saint in a deep pit full of reptiles and other venomous creatures near Mount Ararat, where he was fed secretly by a widow. After the martyrdom of Saint Eripsimi and her companions, also commemorated today, the Lord struck Tiridates in his wrath. The king lost his reason, and he went to live among swine, going on all fours and gnawing at his own flesh. His sister learned in a dream that he could be cured only at the prayer of Saint Gregory. They brought the athlete of Christ out of his pit, therefore, and were amazed to find him in perfect health and strength. Gregory cured the king and persuaded him to adhere to the Christian faith in order to save his soul from everlasting punishments more dreadful than any he had suffered as a madman. With his own hands, Tiridates helped his sister to build a church in honour of Saint Ripsimi and her companions whom he had put to death. Gregory baptized him in the river Euphrates with his nobles and a great many of his subjects in around the year 290. The pagan priests destroyed the idols' temples themselves, and when Gregory had baptized and laid hands on them, they became priests of God Most High. In a short time, there were churches everywhere in Armenia, and the land re-echoed the sound of psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Having spread the peace of Christ throughout Armenia and in the neighboring lands, St. Gregory withdrew with some disciples to a cave in the wilderness, eating but once in forty days and conversing continually with God. To console the faithful, he appointed Aristakis, one of the two sons of his youth, as Catholicos of Greater Armenia. Aristakis took part in the Council of Nicaea in 325 and was a worthy successor to his father. About the year 328, St. Gregory fell asleep in peace to rejoice everlastingly in the light of the Holy Trinity, 
with whose radiance he had enlightened his people. Blessed is the Lord, who is now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good ones. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. successor to the throne of the apostles. O inspired of God, the founder's discipline to be a means of ascent to divine vision. Wherefore, having rightly divided the word of truth, thou didst also contest for the faith even unto blood, O Hieromartyr Gregory. Intercede with Christ our God, that our souls be saved. O thou who wast born of the Virgin, drown thou, I pray thee, the three parts of my soul in the depths of dispassion. As of old thou hast drowned the mounted captains of Pharaoh, that in the mortality of my body, as on a timbrel, I may chant thee a hymn of victory. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. As thou stands crowned before the worshipful Trinity as a watchful shepherd and a sacred martyr, put to sleep the murky images of my passions by thy sacred supplications, as I claim thee, O blessed Gregory. Holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. The never darkened lamp, the great hierarch, the much contending shepherd, the practiced in struggles, the boast of Armenia. As today call the faithful to a feast, let us gather to call him blessed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Filled with the life-giving waters of the Spirit, O blessed Gregory, thou didst issue forth like a river from the noetic Eden, watering the face of the church, and drawing up the sea of idol madness. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holding fast to the cross of him that was incarnate of thee, O pure lady, women have mightily contended and been brought after thee, the virgin, unto him shining with the splendors of virginity and the blood of martyrdom. She who is barren has given birth, even the church from among the nations, and the synagogue which abounded in children is become weak. Wherefore let us cry unto our wondrous God, Holy art thou, O Lord. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. With the blows of thy cheeks thou breaks the great teeth of lions, and with the reels of thy blood thou dies away the demons go, and overturns from their foundations the images of the idols, O wonder-worthy Gregory. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Neither the vehemence of sufferings, nor cruel torments, nor confinement in a gloomy pit for many years, avail to alter thine adamantine mind, O admirable. Martyr. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou gavest no slumber to thine eyes, O martyr, till thou hast made them that were impiously held in a slumber of evil to be sons of the day who cried out, 
Holy art thou, O Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rape Simi the martyr, knowing thee alone to be the virgin mother and maiden, was captivated by thy beauty and was brought unto Christ after thee, shining forth in contests. Thou didst keep the eye of thy mind watchful, O our glorious and lauded martyr, while excelling in deeds that befit thy name. For being tortured in contest for Jesus Christ, thou wast unyieldingly vigilant in thy prayers. Wherefore, as a worthy hierarch thou hast received through blood, a prize for both, O blessed Father Gregory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O our pure and only Virgin Mother, as the words divine and sacred dwelling, thou surpassest the angels in purity. But as for me who surpass all in sinfulness, and by my sins of the flesh am defiled and stained, Wash me clean with the divine waters of thy mighty prayers, and grant great mercy unto me, O modest maid. Seated in his holy glory upon the throne of divinity, Jesus God transcended comes on a light cloud as king of all, and he has saved by his pure and undefiled hand them that cry to him, Glory, O Christ, to thy sovereign might. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. The Lord Most High, loft in glory, brought thee up unto the notable heart of martyrdom, O glorious Haramata, and thou didst portray his sufferings in thyself with joy, while crying out glory to thy power. Holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou didst cast down with divine power the enemy who was godlessly making havoc of the whole land of Armenia, and blazing like a beacon, O wise Gregory, thou didst enlighten them that lay in the darkness of vanity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou brought unto thy Creator thy talent increased many times over, in them that were saved through thy divine teachings, O Gregory. And thou hast received from him the inheritance that waxes not old, even the kingdom and the splendor of the heavens. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou art beautiful and elect and fair, the young maidens who contested with reaps to me loved thee, O Virgin Mother Mary, and they were brought in after thee, rejoicing unto thy Son. Send down upon us thine enlightenment, O Lord, and free us from the gloom of transgression, O good one, granting us thy peace. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou sawest evidently a sign that appeared like the cross, shining out with light and breaking up the night of idolatry and making the faithful to be children of love. Holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. In the lowest pit amidst wild beasts for the space of many years, God preserved thee who was to illuminate the senseless with the light of the divine world. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the the Holy Spirit. Contending as a martyr, thou wast crowned as a victor, and anointed with the mud of the priesthood, thou didst anoint whole peoples, freeing them from foul-smelling error, O Gregory. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The maidens smelled the sweet savour of the myrrh of the word, who shone forth from the opio virgin, and they joyously became well-pleasing unto him through athletic struggle. When the prophet Jonas prefigured thy three-day burial, he cried out in supplication from within the sea monster, Deliver me from corruption, O Jesus, thou King of hosts. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. By the might of thy words, temples were broken down, the demons' groundless idols were overthrown, and the hearts of the faithful were grounded in divine love. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Terry Dati, who before was a savage wolf, thou brought to the Lord, bound like a lamb, and now saved because of the great riches of God's compassion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As a shepherd, 
shepherd and imitator of the true shepherd, O higher Lord Gregory, thou didst employ unerring teachings to indicate the way of godliness unto the airy. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When Ripsimi came to know the crucified, who was incarnate of the Orthodox, she was crucified with him as a new lamb for the shepherd, and as an unblemished sacrifice unto God. Let us the faithful today all acclaim with divine songs and hymns the renowned Ira Gregory as an athlete for truth's sake, as a vigilant shepherd, teacher, and universal luminary, for he intercedes with Christ that we be saved. Him who is great among prize winners, this divine luminary of Armenia, Gregory the Illuminator, we the faithful acclaim with hymns of praise, lauding his memorial with songs inspired of God. For he made the mist of the vain idols to vanish, and with them he killed the power of the demons. Wherefore by grace he endured pains with a stalwart mind, and he intercedes with Christ that we be saved. And he intercedes with Christ that we be saved. Once in Babylon, the children of Abraham trampled upon the flame of the furnace, crying aloud in hymns, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. After enduring torments of many kinds, O martyr, thou didst free many from torments in the trial to come while crying, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Making thyself a house of the Trinity, O martyr, thou didst raise to the ground the idols' temples, while raising up temples to the all-seeing world for the salvation of the people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast shown to be a sacred minister, first offering thyself fervently as a sacrifice to thy Master, and sacrificing him afterwards, thou didst bestow him upon the pious for the salvation of their soul. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Maidens adorned with Christ, Crowns of martyrdom have been brought unto God to dawn from a virgin, and they cried out in song, O Christ, blessed are thou. O Almighty Redeemer of all, when thou didst condescend unto them that remained in true religion in the midst of the flame, that it be do them and teach them to sing, O all ye works, bless and praise the Lord. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Striving lawfully in contest, so didst mightily put the lawless enemies to shame, O Gregory, you minister of sacred rites, and thou brought unto God a multitude that sang. Bless and praise the Lord. Holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou didst steal the fallow field, and its cast in the seeds of the word, reaping the fruit of rational sheaves a hundredfold which brought forth an abundant yield with the cultivation of souls. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. With the lighting bolts of my words, thou didst enlighten innumerable multitudes, and didst offer them to him that endured voluntary suffering for our sakes, unto whom we sing, bless, and praise the Lord. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Fearing neither the multitude of torments, nor stooping to the pleasures of the flesh, Ripsimi confessed the Lord who came forth from a virgin, and she cried, bless, and praise the Lord. He, by the disease of disobedience, brought in the curse, but thou, O virgin Theotokos, by the blossoming of thy childbirth, hast blossomed forth blessing for the world. Wherefore we all magnify thee. O holy Haramata Gregory, pray to God for us. Nerved with the might of Christ, thou didst endure the pain of the torments, breaks to pieces the monuments of the demons, didst dash to the earth the idols' temples, 
and its enlightened peoples in ignorance, O all venerable Haramata. Holy Haramata, Gregory, pray to God for Thy us. Thy memorial is risen upon us like the break of day, bringing the splendor of the gifts of grace. For Thou hast proved to be a vessel of the divine light, and hast departed to the light that has no evening, O righteous Gregory, shining richly with divine effusions of love. Holy Haramata, Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou art a companion of the prophets and martyrs, a fellow dweller with the apostles, high priests and righteous, and a peer of the angels and archangels with them, O Father, beseech the friend of man for us who sing thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Reverent women of triumph, setting aright the fall of Eve, they patiently endured the swelling tempest of sufferings, and him that boasted greatly to the uttermost, they have crushed beneath their beautiful feet. Let us worthily call them blessed. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In you mean with the light of the countenance of him that shone from thee, O ever virgin, reaps me portrayed his sufferings and death in her own flesh with irresistible longing. Wherefore she now rejoices with thee. Seeing a dreadful spectacle, the unbelievers were amazed. For him whom they had believed dead in a deep pit with wild beasts, they drew up living safe and sound, and falling down they cried aloud, Great is the God of Gregory, who has revealed him in glory as an exceedingly bright star. Ah. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond, compare more glorious than the seraphim. Thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ, good, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross, and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, so is the great Brandon the Navigator, Oren of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molog, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the Holy Haramat, Gregory, the Illuminator of Greater Armenia. With the prayers of the Holy Women Martyrs, Ripsimi, Guyana, and another 32 righteous women martyrs and virgins. With the prayers of the Holy Seventy Martyrs, who were put to death with Saint Ripsimi, and also to righteous women. With the prayers of the holy martyr Stratonicus, with the prayers of the holy martyr Mardonius, who was perfected in martyrdom when live coals were placed upon his navel. With the prayers of the holy one thousand martyrs, who were perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of our father among the saints Michael, the wonder worker, the first metropolitan of Kiev and of all Russia. With the prayers of the holy martyr Michael, Grand Duke of Tver, with the prayers of the righteous father Gregory of Vologda, with the prayers of the holy new confessor Seraphim of Harkov, the Hara monk who reposed in 1943, with the prayers of Saint Honorius of Canterbury, Saint Maiden of Anglesey, Saint Angendal of Wales, Saint Larry of Brittany, Saints Tancred, Torfred and Tova, and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God and of all the saints have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.